Hi guys, Hugh here from Square Labs. Today I'm going to show you how you can expand your notifications in the system to come out via Zoho Click into your own instant message channel for CRM alerts. And this is just going to stop the large bombardment of email notifications that you get in the system. It also allows them to be pretty quick and, um, and interactive that you can use them by just clicking on the button on those um, notifications and it will take you straight to the recording question inside the CRM. So I'll get into it, it should be a pretty quick one, um, but here we go. First thing we're going to do guys is we're going to open up Zoho Click. So once you're in Click, you can go up to the settings and we're going to create bots and tools and create a bot. Inside here, I'm going to name my bot. I'm going to call mine alert bot. And this is just for Zoho CRM alerts. We're just going to create an organization. You know, we're going to allow users to add this bot to a channel so it can send messages. You've got the image you can change there. I might just put Zoho CRM there. Change it up, make it look a bit better than just those two little eyes. Once you're done, you can click save. Now, First thing we're going to do before we leave here is we're just going to click on the alert bot again and take note that its unique name is just alert bot. All right, so we'll roll a case. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a channel. So inside our Zoho Click, we can go up to channels, click the plus button, create an organization channel, and I'm going to call this one um, CRM Alerts. I'm going to make it open to all. We've got yourself will be added automatically when you create it. And we can click create channel. Once we've created it here, we're going to go up to the little people icon. We're going to add participants and we're going to add alert bot. So we can add alert bot to the channel. So now we've got both people that are involved in this organization inside this channel. All right. Next step we need to do is we're going to go into Soho CRM and we're going to create a connection. So if we go into setup, go into developer space connections, what we're going to do is going to create a new connection and we can go to Zoho OAuth here and I'm going to call this one click underscore connection and we need to choose the right scope. So if we click Zoho click like this, we can see there's a bunch of scopes that you're going to want to use. What we can want to find is the one called zohoclick.webhooks.create. We're going to click create and connect. We'll get the pop-up. We can click connect, accept, and now we've got that connection ready to go. Now that we've got this all done, I'm going to show you how you can create um, an alert uh, for this in the alert builder. So inside Zoho Click, if you go to your URL and then go forward slash message builder, it can help you build out some messages and better designs to pass the information through. So for example, you can create prompts, you can create different styles of things, and these are the themes. I've just gone with prompt in this case. Um, in here, you can have message sender, which would default as yourself, or you can have other names. What we can do is create our message. So in here, I'm just gonna have an error has occurred. Click the button to open the log record for more details. You can then add a button so when they click that button, we're going to open up the log. Um, inside here, we can also have multiple buttons if you've got multiple actions for your ticket, um, sorry, for your message. And I'll let you play around with it to build it in more detail. Once you've got your button, I just click this little pencil icon. You can change the label of the button. And I've added the URL of the logs module, which is custom module one in my system. Once that's done, we can add the title, which is error. Now, thumbnail image here, this is the, um, the image that appears here. What I've done is I've just gone to icons8 com, search for an error, and then when you find this message, if you just right click on it and click open image in new tab, you can see here that this is the URL up the top. And when I go into my 
uh, click message. Double click that. I can just paste that in there. And it just downloads the logo straight from the internet instead of having to store it somewhere. The icon URL is this one here, but we don't need to worry about that because it's going to inherit it from the alert bot. This configurer also allows you to add additional components. So if you want to add things like tables, lists, and all that sort of stuff, you can. Just note that some themes um, don't allow um, lists. So lists can't be done in prompts, but you can do lists in basic and um, modern in line. Once you've got your setup or your basic message and you've previewed it through here, what we can do is go view deluge script. And what it's done is it's just created everything we need without us having to write the code. So what we'll do is we're just gonna copy this and we can create a function and use this code. So inside functions, what we're gonna do is create a new function and I'm just gonna call this one log error to click channel and I can just have that one here I'm just going to have the automation as the category type and click create now that we're building out this function and it's created what we can do is add in a few things so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a log map and I'm gonna get my log ID and I can create the argument for that. Log ID and that's just gonna be a string, save. So we're gonna get that log and then my logs have a function name in there so I can notify in the message what function had an error. Once you've done that, if I go back to my message builder, click copy again, I can paste that in here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this return response because I don't need it. In here we've got an error has occurred. I'm just going to have and re sorry I'm just going to rename that to function um, and then I'm going to go bracket plus function name. So what I'm doing is passing through the function name here so I know which functions had an error straight away. I've got all the type, everything I need. Next thing I'm going to do is, because we're going to be doing that open URL, is inside this URL here at the end, I'm just going to go plus log ID. And now that's going to add that log ID to the module and that's the only variable that changes when passing um, that to that button so we can open it up. Once we've got all that done, the next thing we can do is just update the last thing on the bottom here, which is we're going to send the data to click. So we're going to just create a um, click response equals zoho.click and then we're going to go post to channel as bot. We're going to put in the channel name, which is CRM alerts, and we're going to choose alert bot in here. And then we've got the response, which is all of the data that we're just doing here. And then we're going to use that click connection. Now I'm not sure if I showed you before, but if you open up your channel here and go to connectors, you can see here the unique name of that channel in click that you will want to use for your function. And we've got CRM alerts. Once that's all done, we can now save this function. And now we're just going to add it to a workflow. I've already got an error log notification workflow that's set up to send me an email notification of any errors. But now I'm going to update this to use a function. So if I remove this, I can then create a function action. I'm going to go functions created by users in this organization, log error to click channel. That's the one I've just configured. Configure this. If I use the hashtag key here, and we've got logs and go log ID, click done, and save and associate. We're now going to update that log to notify us via click. Now I can save that one. Cool. Now, if I go to a deal, and I've got an example here, and I'm going to go merge and send proposal. This one here I know is going to throw an error because I've rigged it to. So once it does throw this error, we're going to see the click notification pop up. 
and see an error has occurred, please check the logs. If I load here to alert bot, CRM alerts, function merge and send proposal has clicked the button. If I click that button, it's now going to open up my CRM, go directly through to the log record, and from here, I'll be able to do a bit more investigation. So I've got a message here. So what I need to do is go, hey, let's look into that a bit more and I can investigate. If you set up your channels and stuff in here, it will automatically pop up inside the bottom of your CRM and that way you get the alerts inside your CRM over using the actual Click application. Hope that helps guys. I'm just gonna post the code on GitHub that you can then download if you want, but if you wanna create your own messages and stuff like that and improve your systems, some good ones are you know, a lead, lead notifications, just having a little pop-up for that in your system as soon as they come in is a great way to expand the functionality of this. Hope that helps. You have a great day.